I wanted to share this with the world. It's something that changed my life. My father brought me up with evolution. In fact, the first words I was taught were the names of the dinosaurs, and I could speak to foremost children, and was quite proud of this fact. Anyway, my father spoke that religion was all about making people civilized, uh, teaching them rules to follow, um, and that there was no God who was going to strike you for being bad, but it was just a process to civilize man, probably done by very smart people and elders who look to guide the ignorant. Anyway, uh, something happened to me in boarding school. Every Sunday, we had placemats that were white with little frills around the edges, only on Sunday. And um, a student showed me this, and it sort of changed my life. Uh, because I couldn't see how this could work by accident. Anyway, it's, I'll, I'll show you. You take a piece of paper, and you fold it like this. Very simple. Take the right corner, fold it over, and you do the same thing to the other side of the paper, like that. Form something like this. Then you take it and you fold it this way. And the story went, which to me the story was not the important part. It told a little moral about greed or whatever. Uh, but what amazed me was that the English language had to evolve in a certain way. The crucifixion had to have happened in a certain way and become a religion for all of this to work. And it just seemed to me that it couldn't have happened by accident. That there is somehow a predestined time continuum that we live in. I'm not sure, I don't understand it all, but this, this really made me think that there was more than just an accident in this world, that uh, we're not just a city of, of accidents. Anyway, so, guy's on the way to heaven. He's got a ticket, this is the ticket. And uh, another guy is also on the bus, and he doesn't have a ticket. So he says, uh, hey, do you have a ticket? And the guy says, yeah, I got a ticket. He says, no, I really don't have a ticket. Uh, I wonder if they'll let me in, and, you know. So uh, I may not be getting the story exactly right, because I was probably only about, uh, let's see, I was nine in New Jersey, 10 in Canada, uh, 11, 12, and 13, I was in South Wales, New York. So it was some time of that, that period. So anyway, so it's a long time ago. So the fellow takes a strip of the ticket and rips it off and gives it to the fellow. And some time passes and the fellow's looking at his little piece of ticket and seeing the other guy has a bigger piece of ticket. And he says, uh, you know, this ticket's awfully small. Oops, do you think that they'll let me into heaven with it? And so the guy says, well, let me give you another piece. And so he tears off another piece and gives it to him. And they continue on up to heaven and uh, get to the pearly gates and St. Peter's there and he's uh, checking tickets. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know whether I can continue like this. I will continue anyway. Right. Right. I can't stop the wind. Okay, so, hmm, so I'm going to do it anyway. I'll do my best to do it backwards. Oh, this is very tough. I'll use a stone. Okay. So, what amazes me is that this, uh, works. It 
just seems absolute. It's not complicated. It's not like the Japanese origami where you have to do a whole series of folds and stuff to create images. This is just a very simple, simple thing. And even these two little tiny pieces have their place. And uh, so, guy says you're in the wrong place. And um, the other fellow's ticket is open. And there you go. So, my fascination was that uh, this was just, could not have been an accident. Um, it just seems so implausible that all these accidents could fall into place. The English language would have evolved where a hell had a meaning, and the meaning was sort of the opposite of heaven and the symbol for heaven or heavenly God became the sign of the cross. I mean, I suppose you could compare it to other religions and say, well, there are no crosses in those religions. Uh, and I'm not trying to make any point, absolutely, that uh, one religion is better than the other. Um, I have serious issues with that. Uh, even though this video is really not to make that kind of statement. Uh, it just is very coincidental. And how far can coincidence go? Uh, I know there are many coincidences that blow the mind when people examine, for instance, Lincoln. I saw something about Lincoln and how this was related to this and this was related to that and it all sort of spelled out this really bizarre chain of events and things that sequence that uh, unbelievable, but, and again, maybe there's another example of the time continuum playing out uh, a situation that fits together perfectly, um, that everything is somehow interlinked, not just this story, but many historic things that have happened that were meant to be, and, uh, we somehow live in this perfect time continuum which we may or may not have any control.